Ah, uh, shapes.io. Basically, this is what the world would look like if God were a printer. Efficiency wasn't my first concern in this factory. So for this video, I think I'm just going to start a new factory altogether. We've had a good run, me and this factory. But they say if you love something, you have to set it free. We're going to start a new game. It's a simple premise. Harvest a large piece of graph paper of circles and we'll begin here by starting three of these things. We'll just get as many circles as we can right off the bat. There we go. That's about as efficient as I can possibly make it at first and let's just slowly... Oh look there they come streaming out and we'll just link up each of these and level one should be done in no time. Now the game takes place in a set of increasingly migraine inducing uh, puzzles puzzles they call them and we've unlocked the cutter get ready to waste half of your stuff uh now no longer are my circles my circles have become obsolete regardless regardless we won't stop making circles we'll just add in cut circles to this whole fiasco now i need to make space between my cut things so let's just put this one here and here and here and do this there we go and bob's your uncle we've got all of the stuff we want now bob is your weird uncle here we go we just link up this to this and do this and then this and then we do this we're not talking about this or this we're talking about this and i don't even think we have anything to do with these we'll just bring these over here smashing now we can unlock upgrades for our factory tally ho then so many shapes so little time we can upgrade our belts distributor and tunnels now from a one speed to a whopping two now we need squares for a splitter slash merger so as with my web browsing history i'm going to delete all of my past for our squares it must be the best let me just you know what i I don't want any of this anymore. It's like the Sneetches. Good, now we've completely erased our past. We're ready to start over like Walter White. And, oh, I know it will be far more satisfying. Let's let them build up. Ooh, I'm not playing the game right. I'm a bad man. No, don't worry, I'll, I'll give you that sense of satisfaction that you need. Oh yeah, get ready for it. Three, two, oh five, no, that was not right. There we go, and just smash, perfect, good. Good. Oh, yes. Put those boxes into that larger box. Level three. Can we be stopped? Now we've unlocked this thing, which is... This is actually probably one of the most useful things in the game. A balancer. Okay, stop the flow of production. Now use the scissors. I know what to do. At the same time, over here, off in the distance, I'm just going to create this closed. It's hypnotic. And we could do the same stuff over here, making for more perfect squareage. And be sure not to interrupt my closed system. Now, levels one through four take you about five minutes to finish. But once we get up to like level 10, it's gonna take us about an hour to just do one of these things. So hold on to your hat and go find your medication because we're going to have a lot of head hurt where we're going next put him in put him in yeah now we can rotate things now we need this stop it stop the spam stop the production of the spam i would allow it we need only 200 though which isn't too big an ask there we go now we can cut only vertically so horizontal cuts are inhumane and we'll just see what we're working with here now we'll need a series of turns uh, i see how this is going to look we'll just do this same pattern each time and viola we've built our machine now it's back to the gulag with me Ah, uh, we've unlocked tunneling. Now we can delete all of our hard work to make something smaller and more rage-inducing. This may not be the best, but I have an idea. If we just take our original cuts and turn them once, we should always get another chance to cut it. And then we can make that into quarters. Ah, perfect, we're making just what I wanted. Now we take that and rotate that once. And is that... Yes! <laughs> It's everything I dreamed it would be. Okay, let's let those build up for a little while. Because I wanted to get it all out in one clean poop. There we go. And now we'll just order this machine to put them in. Good, good. Now we can just repeat the same pattern. One cut, turn, cut, turn. Or cut, turn, cut, turn, turn. Or cut, turn, cut, turn, turn, turn. And in we go. What happens to them in there? I don't know. I th my suspicion is that we're generating the next Google DeepMind. But who can tell? We'll delete this because it's worthless. And we're also supposed to be getting these things. So let's just change these back to squares. I want nothing but squares. Get on it. I'm also noticing that we need this star shape to do more. So that's all the way over here. We should probably get started on that now. We can just do this. And then this. And then this. And since that no, that's not very efficient at all. And since it must be the best, we could just do this. And then I 
think this will do. Uh, good. All right. Unlimited production. Good, good. Now I've got it down to one conveyor belt of awesomeness. Actually, come to think of it, we could do that over here too. Let's just do that for these ones. And we've unlocked paint. See, this is my central thesis, is that every time you unlock something, the game makes you feel like all of your old stuff is inadequate. Like you're developing a new Chromebook. We could do that. And then that means we could consolidate this into this, and get rid of all of this, and get rid of that and just make all of this into this. And I do this, and that's actually more efficient. Wow, that's also better. Now, although it looks terrible, I swear it's improving. Now, red circles are next on the menu. And then we unlock cow cutting. Oh wait, no. CCW. CCW cutting. Of course, of course, CCW cutting. My favorite type. Let's put a uh, more circle here. Though now that we've unlocked paint, the painters are actually some of the slowest, uh, some of the slowest items in the game, so we'll do this. We're going to do something far more jarring and alarming than anything I've done so far. And we're going to make the first of my blueprints. Now this will look something- don't be alarmed, it, it's, it's actually much less terrible than it looks. We just need to get the circleage over here. And everybody loves red. There we go, just do that there. Here we go, actually just like this. Here we go, and this is the last one. Now we got it all into one steady stream of- And we'll work likewise over here. Now we have two streams of circle and red. The next move is baffling. We'll do this, and, oops, we gotta do this instead. Get rid of that shit. And we can use a series of tunnels. That's right, a series of tunnels. Here we go, we'll just build one of these things on each of these spots. Next we do this, and then we do this, and this is the really satisfying part is that each one gets linked linked up, and then, and we can, and last but not least, we do this, and now we link in those circles here, and this is probably the most satisfying part of the game is when this all comes together. Now we finish off with one of these dingle hoppers, and now we do the, ah, oh, yeah, good, good, oh, there they go, off for completion, yes. It's going to make the- yeah, there they come! Oops, we almost forgot one here. And we'll just link up this last one. Now, how do we get them all out? Well, the exact same thing. It's exactly the same thing. Just do that over here. And I don't know about you, but this makes me extremely satisfied to finish this off. And I think we'll give this one its own channel. There we go, and the dingle hoppers are complete. Now we have a steady stream of red circles for our migraine machine. Now, really, I had created an entire review, but I just didn't like it in the end. So I decided letting you actually see how the game plays out and scales up is more fun. As you can see, your factory grows and the shapes become more complex. We genetically modify them to become shapelier, until eventually we've evolved into a cybernetic Chromebook. Now ultimately we still haven't even created the steadiest stream of red circles. But the fun part here is that we could just keep on adding painters until we get there. So I'll add like three more, because we could always just keep scaling up our production. Do exactly the same thing. Eventually we'll get blueprints, so this will become easier. Honestly though, I'm, I'm liking this game a lot more than than I thought I would. Like, it is really addicting, and when I go back to my own life, I'll feel sad that I can't actually, you know, set up these machines in it to get work done for me. Now then, there we go, more red circle completion. And now let me do the watching. This will be only the first of many machines. There will be many more like it. But at this point, I'm probably just gonna sit back and relax for a second. Now, as the game goes on, we get more efficient machines, so... We don't have to multiply all of our rotation so much anymore. Instead of rotating things like this, you can just do this. Now for me, the struggle is just keeping everything concise, which means going back to the original machines and just deleting everything that I can. So before, my factory was an absolute mess. This time, it's still going to be a mess, but just slightly less of a mess. There we go, much better. Now it's time to create the blue square. My favorite shape. And now we can repeat this exact design over here with our other stuff over here in Blue Rectangle Land. We can even name them after our thing. Blue Rectangle Land. It's perfect. Again, we'll go with our painters. And there we go. Now there are more efficient ways to do it. I'm not an expert. I'm just- I'm decent now. I'm- I'm better than a noob, but not by much. Don't judge me. I- I take criticism very hard. And I don't handle rejection well. Now this is a slight variation on my original design, but it should work nonetheless. Basically, anything goes. 
as, as long as it works. And we'll do the same thing with our tunnels here. Now, the point of the game is to spend the most time thinking about the most efficient structure and not really, like, like, the time of delivery doesn't really matter until, just as long as your machines are working to their best capacity. Which, to me, is extremely satisfying. And as, ah, uh, blue rectangle land is working good, I can get off of my medication. Oh, here they come. It's like the anticipation of a great guest. Here we go. Oh, Mm -hmm. smashing, 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 smashing. Now we have far more, uh, here's the issue now. We have far more gray rectangles than blue dye. So we need to, so we'll, we'll just bring these up the causeway. There we go. Okay, now the blue dye is coming back. Don't be sad, blue dye. Your, your day in the sun will come soon. But we need more painters as well, obviously. So we'll just expand out that. They're, really, the, the main limitation here is the painters. So we'll do more of those. Now, if you notice, there are uh, actual ratios. I don't pay much attention to them because I just... I don't know, it, it kind of kills everything for me. But if you wanted to, you really could take out some insurance on this game. I just like to be creative and find my own ways, though. I, I don't like looking up designs because I... Because I didn't invent them, you know? There we go, clean and ready. I think we just add more blue. Th Strangely, this isn't the hard part, adding the blue, as much as just getting more shit. Okay, that should be more than enough blue. I, I don't know how anyone could do more with that much blue. Now, as the game goes on, like, this is not the most perfectly efficient factory yet. As the game goes on, we'll be able to deliver more through, like, see, it's getting stopped up here, so what that means is that we need to create a second channel, and we can go like this, or actually, we'll have to go like this, something like that. Now, in this case, we need to create another chain of Amazon robotics engineers, and there we go. Okay, great. Things seem to be flowing, uh flowing without any trickle or stoppage. As it is, this is good enough for me. It's also beautiful as hell. I mean, it, <laughs> this is really nice to look at. Now, obviously, you can see that it goes on like this, but a new realization of mine has just been that the map is infinite and I could, I could keep on going on forever, so... What's the point in starting a new game when you could just go back to your old, ugly shit? Because I've been scrolling now for like three minutes and there's just unlimited shit out here. You could you could keep on going on forever. The only problem is there's no camera zoom, but you, I could always just click back to blue rectangle land. And suddenly I'm there, or back at my hub. As you as you zoom out, it starts to more and more resemble a computer chip. Oh, I didn't even realize that the game has multiple save slots. Let's go back to my original one. Okay, this is the convoluted mess that my original game had become. I didn't label anything, and the entire place is just a mess of contraptions. It's not very efficient at all, but it does look good. Sometimes the most ugly contraptions are the most beautiful, too. This factory suffered from constipation, and now the shape we need to create is this horrible thing. I've also just created some experimental stuff here in the south. It's not very efficient, but it's... we're, we're trying to improve our factory, right? A heartfelt thanks to the developer for being such an absolute lad sponsoring this video. This video is also sponsored by Migraines. I guess I can't call it a real review since it's sponsored, but I give it this shape. As much as I shaped the shapes, the shapes shaped me. And I loved every second of it. If you think this game's right for you, it reminds me a lot of Space Chem mixed with a uh, Mindistry and Factorio. My only friend who played Space Chem has since become a robotics engineer for one of the most profitable companies in the world. If that sounds like you, then try out this game. And that's not all. Right now, the game is open source and available online, as well as on Steam for only $4. At least at the moment that I'm making this. Less than the price of a glass of Everclear. Clear. The game gets frequent updates, currently with new maps and challenge modes. Puzzles, a story mode, a map generator, new shapes, and even more planned for the future, I think. With this, along with Factorio 1.0 release, and Mindistry as another automation game I'm trying out, I'd be really happy to cover more of these on my channel, and making for higher quality philosophy. If you want to give it a try, all the links are in the description. As always, a heartfelt thanks to the AA support group. My patrons who generally help- I, I wrote down generally, but I meant to say generally generously to generously help support the creation of high tier love thank you for everything you do more content soon and bye for now until we meet again